بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو انادر ویڈیو آن اوریکل ایپیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور اپلوڈ فیچر ان اوریکل ایپیکس یوزنگ مائکروسافٹ ایکسل فائل اینڈ وی ول بی ہیونگ نو کوڈنگ ان دس سیشن سو وداؤٹ اینی کوڈنگ وی ول بی ہیونگ دس فنکشنلٹی اینڈ ہارڈلی میکسیمم اٹ ول ٹیک فائیو منٹس رائٹ سو This is really required feature for Oracle applications, Apex or Oracle EBS. So that upload functionality always required to the organizations. And this is an easy way to do this setup. So I will show you how you can create templates and how you can upload data from Excel into Oracle table, directly into the table without using any temporary or anything else. Right? Okay, let's move. Okay, now let's uh, open uh, our Apex uh, account. Uh, it is in apex.oracle. So uh, just imagine you can even directly load into your cloud account as well. So it's not only on premises or something like that. Even in cloud application, you can use it, right? So let us create a very small application uh, over here just for this demo. Uh, ERP. Excel upload. So this is our you can see coding. Okay, next we will be creating a just empty. Uh, that's it, nothing else. So before this, now let us first check our table. So I will go to SQL Workshop Object Browser and let me find a table named M. So let's say, for example, this is my table, right? Standard, normally a standard table, which is there or normally in any, any database. So at the moment, this data is there. So what I will do, I will uh, download this data. So if you see here, I am going to select download and I will select ERP stuff underscore M, right? That's it. Now, you see here, this is my file, right? And now I am going to create uh, 5555 somewhere. And here I will say analyst, analyst, and rest, let me copy these things. So, this is sort of template. I do even downloaded the data. You can remove all this data, but at least your columns should be exactly matching your table because this will help you in mapping all these things. So up to you if you want to change any uh, thing. Yarrow, and the H, narrow. Let's see this one. So I'm just saving it now. Now this is my template, right? And now what I'm going to do, I will be coming here in this uh, file and I selected columns and more truncate table. So I'm just truncating this table, just make it empty. Okay, now this is empty. If I see the data, it should be blank, right? You can load from here as well. You can load from here, but this will have a problem that only uh, you will have this access to this uh, SQL and you will not be giving this to the users, to the end user, right? Now we have to give the functionality to the end user so he or she will log in into the application and will upload the way they want. So <clears throat> now this is um, uh, empty, empty table. Now let me go back to my application and here I will go first to the shared components, this one, right? In the shared components, you have to come to the data sources and you will click data load definitions. Create from scratch, next. And now I'm going to up name it, upload from Excel, right? By default, table is selected, keep it as it is. And here now we have to select our table. 
this is our end table right so I have selected the table you can create uh, any table like interface or something like that the concept of uh, Oracle EPS but the object is to upload in a table right so this is M next right now here it is saying choose file now at the moment we are not uploading at the moment we are just creating mappings so this is my file right this is just a mapping even you can have copy and paste but i have upload a file right upload a file simple way straightforward so if you see here it, it showed me the preview this is the preview data so, so you have to confirm this mapping is it okay column amp name it's okay right yes okay now let me come to the column mapping okay you have to confirm this mapping if uh, anywhere you need to change you have to update it but since we have same uh, template then it will automatically mapped right here you can have the format marks and create now here you have to select this create and add page as i said there will be no coding so now i'm creating a page upload let's say em employees data right normal nothing else i'm not changing anything over here and here the default uh, selection is file we will keep it as it is create page let's see it will take five minutes or less than five minutes okay now that's it i haven't done anything over here it is created and now let me run it okay this choose file now it will upload now i have to choose the file i am choosing that file in which i have the data it will preview me the data if you see you can check the mapping under salary salary is there wait right and and here it will show you the sheet as well sorry let me show you again just a moment is if if you have sheets in your file then it will show you here uh, the sheets so which one you want to select that is up to you okay it is already loaded and let me show you here uh, refresh see the data is there right now in order to show it you can create another page create and here I will say infective report okay uploaded data sorry data right include form page if you want to uh, create form as well because we are not going to update it but at, if you want you can just enable it and this will be uh, m data form right and here i will not select draw i will select normal right and m table the same table okay i'm just th this is not upload part i'm just creating a form as well just to see the data m number next and that's it this is our application it is ready okay now if i will go here uploaded data right this is this is upload data here i can upload the data even here it is uh, if i i don't want to upload this uh, preview i will just clear it that's it and here it is showing me the data if i want to change anything form is also ready to you right okay let me let me try again maybe it will give error because they, they might be primary key let's see right see so it is not aligned clear and to see now another way is you can have upload button over here let me do that just to add this uh, so this is my create button right duplicate and here i will say upload upload right so what i will do i will be changing this to my see um, upload this is two number right so i don't need to have separate menu i will uh, you can delete that one now my this page will work for this as well right so here you can have a branch so once uploaded it should go to our page number four 
I think it was page number four, if I'm not wrong. Let me check. Uploaded data. This is page number three. So it should come here, right? Um, go to page three. Now it is your requirement if you want to do something else. Uh, right. So just one more time, I will be truncating this. Truncate table. Truncate. Now let me refresh uh, uh, data. Refresh. There is no data, right? So now my application is ready. But I'm, now I will not go or uh, use this option because I have added functionality on this form itself. So you can delete this one. So this is my now page. So there is no data, right? So upload, choose file and upload. Upload. Okay, now it came. I don't know why it was creating problem. So let me delete this as well. It is creating confusion. I will go to the menu list, navigation menu, and now I don't need this right. This one. So now that menu is also not there. So one single here, we have this upload and I can upload from here, right? So I think it is quite easy. You can try it. And uh, by the way, this is my apex.oracle.com, which is 23.2. You have to check. I don't know uh, this is from which version, but I am using it, uh, latest one, apex.oracle.com, right? Please share your feedback and thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.